Speaking personally, as a writer, it's just way more fun when your characters make bad choices and do bad things. It's so much more interesting that way. Hi, my name is JJA Harwood and I am the author of The Shadow in the Glass. This is my debut novel. It is coming out on the 18th of March this year and it's a dark retelling of Cinderella which I've set in Victorian London. Now the book is very gothic so I thought I would share my tips on how to write gothic fiction and for me it really comes down to four points. Setting, isolation, liminality and transgression or SILT if you like an acronym. So the first point, setting. I imagine everybody's already quite familiar with the traditional gothic setting, whether that's a spooky old castle or a dilapidated mansion. But for me, this is a really important part of the genre, not just because of the beautiful descriptions and all the wonderful atmosphere that you can create with that, but because it can be used to reinforce what's going on in the plot and to underscore the fact that your protagonist really isn't safe in the traditional gothic novel. This ties into my next point, isolation. I've always thought that Gothic is quite an introspective genre. It seems to have a lot of characters who are really driven inside their own heads. And in that respect, it can be quite lonely, whether that's physical loneliness, because your spooky setting is so remote, or whether that's a bit more metaphorical, because your protagonist has realized that they either cannot trust or cannot depend on the characters around them. Now, my third point, liminality, is by far my favorite one. I really enjoy Gothic fiction when it starts to blur the line between what's real and what isn't. Uh, historically, Gothic fiction has done this through a number of different lenses, uh, including mental illness and the supernatural, but there's all sorts of ways that you as a writer could do this. Um, for me, there's nothing more quintessentially Gothic than when the boundaries of the protagonist's reality are just slightly blurred and you have to watch them cope with this new element of ambiguity. And my final point, transgression. Your characters have just got across some lines. Uh, there's a lot of interesting literary theory about uh, transgression and the Gothic, which I would really encourage everybody to read because it's dead interesting. But speaking personally, as a writer, it's just way more fun when your characters make bad choices and do bad things. It's so much more interesting that way. So these are my four tips on how to write a gothic novel. I hope that some of you have found them useful. And if they lead to you writing the next gothic bestseller, please do put me in the acknowledgements. Mm -hmm.